Well, hello and welcome to everyone settling into this game. Liftoff wasn't quite achieved as they had envisaged on day one, but one point is better than nothing. It was met with a mixed reception, but it's certainly given them something to build upon. Much now hangs on what they can achieve in the second game. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. It's not been the ideal start, but plenty of time still to make up ground. Well, Peter, the groups aren't really going to take shape until, say, the fourth or fifth games. But equally, they don't want to allow themselves to be left in a position to go chasing points too hard at the end of the group. So this calls for a, a pragmatic approach and picking up as much as you can now to at least ease the psychological pressure later on. from the skipper he can talk the talk and walk the walk fabulous what about that Jim Beglin well it doesn't have to look spectacular why complicate simplicity Defender bombing forward. Gets up to hit it! Oh, oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. And the half time whistle goes. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The big group did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Now the cross, and the shot! And the key high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage.
Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. what we've seen today then Jim well tactically they look as if they've got that spot on I think when you push up at the back to the extent they did then there must be a pressure on the ball ahead of things otherwise your whole system is going to break down and I think there was there was a good discipline about what